So to create a recurring meeting for your class, you would go to your class page, and then you would want to have Zoom already over there. If it's not, you can get it in settings, and then um, navigation, and then make sure Zoom is up in the top part of things that you are using. But then I can go over here to Zoom and say, I want to schedule a new meeting. And this is for my Applied Cell and Molecular Bio class, 03709. Um, and the meeting time is 8 a.m. Uh, the meeting duration is one hour. It's U.S. Eastern time. Um, it's a recurring meeting. It recurs on a weekly basis, but on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And, um, and we're going to stop all of the meetings at the end of the semester. I can't quite remember when that is, so we'll just say it's sometime before December 13th. Doesn't really matter. Um, so I want participants to be muted when they enter. Um, I want to record the meeting automatically. I'm going to set it recording to the cloud, but local recording is fine. Um, I'm going to put in my co-host, Steph, as an alternate. Um, and then I can also put in my TAs as an alternate. Um, on the day of the uh, class, I will make one of my TAs primary host um, on a day-by-day -day basis. Um, there's a default to have a passcode, um, and then all of that is there, and then to save the meeting. And then um, when I've launched Zoom, um, now there's this new Applied Cell and Molecular Bio class default meeting set. Um, I can copy the invitation to that and post it onto my Canvas page and everything. All right, we're going to take a quick look getting started on a couple features here. So first, launch Zoom into the Meetings tab. I've got my class. I'm going to start it up. Um, I get a notification. This meeting is this being meeting recorded. Is recorded. Um, let's make sure that I've got um, my microphone set up got my camera set up. Um, if I stop the recording, the dialogue, recording has then stopped. I stop. If I wanted to start recording, so whenever I take my mouse away, those little things down below vanish, but then they show back up. Um, security settings, let me, you know, like allow participants to share screen and chat and so on. Today we're having a test, so I'm going to turn off chat. Normally chat is on, but I don't want them messaging each other during test. Um, then I can see the chat. They can still private message me during the, the exam. Um, I can see my participants list. This is where they can raise their hand, vote yes and no, and so on. Um, other settings, I can assign some. Once other people show up, I could click on more and assign somebody else to be a host, but I'm not going to do that. I can also mute other people as the host, but not as a co-host. Um, I'm going to turn off the sound when someone joins and leaves because that just gets obnoxious. And then um, I'm going to start sharing my screen now, just for fun. Um, so far, I don't have any windows open. Let's see. Maybe if I um, open a web window, then here now I have the option to share my uh, iPad via AirPlay or just launch the Zoom whiteboard. Um, if, you, if you are working on a tablet, this might work. Um, if you have an iPad, this works. We'll talk to Alan uh, and um, uh, Ryan and everybody about other options if you have neither of those. Um, I can share everything on my screen, or I can just say I only want them to see my web browser. So there we go. There's my web browser. I can annotate on top of this. So if I, so if I drag my mouse up here, I can start annotating, and then everyone will see that. Um, I can clear those annotations, um, get rid of this annotation business. Again, when I bring my mouse now up here, I start to see some of these same options, but some things looks like they disappeared, um, like chat, but that's up here. I just have to hit the more. Also, breakout rooms. Um, actually, also, if I wanted to record it, good thing I'm capturing this elsewhere, um, but if I wanted to record it, I can record on the computer or record to the cloud. We'll go ahead and this meeting is cloud. being recorded. Um, and then um, breakout rooms, also over here, very important. Um, now for this, um, I'm going to, I've got some preset breakout rooms, but since nobody's here, that's all just like uh, silliness. So I'm going to recreate all rooms. 
um, since there's zero participants. And so this is this automatic recreation of rooms means that it's just going to randomly assign people. So I could say like four rooms, um, uh, and then everyone gets randomly assigned. Um, what I'm going to do is actually after I've done that, I'm going to add a room and then put all of my TAs, or if I am the TA and I'm the host, put the instructor into the spare breakout room. That's a good place for private chats, um, uh, private questions, and it's also then the co-hosts can use the same breakout room option, which will appear once the rooms are created. Co-hosts can use the same breakout rooms option to move themselves between rooms. Um, there are other options I can set. So I want the breakout rooms to last for five minutes. Um, notify me when the time is up, and then they get a 30 second countdown after that. I can, I can start that 30 second countdown earlier as well by coming in here. Um, if I recreate my rooms once again, I can also do a manual recreation. And in that case, there's just going to be a bunch of unassigned names at the top, and then I need to click on each name and assign them one by one to a room. That is a little bit more cumbersome, um, but it does, uh, if you have a small class, it does work. <coughs> I edit out that sneeze. Um, then, of course, the Zoom chat is here. And then I can also, again, see the participants here. And if anybody's you know, saying, voting yes or no or raising their hand or whatever, then that will show up there as well. Um, of course, this starts covering up my screen. So if you have a second monitor, that's great. Or if what you're sharing comes off of a tablet, then that also works fine. Um, all right, cool.